The racial wage gap is growing in the tech industry. Only 8% of tech employees are black. That's according to the McKinsey Institute for Black Economic Mobility. And only 3% of executives in tech jobs are black. McKinsey says if the industry doesn't become more diverse, black households could lose out on more than $350 billion in wages from tech jobs by 2030. Joining me now is Leslie Tochi. He is the founder and CEO of Next Play. My brother, thank you so much for joining me. Talk to me about Next Play. How do you all help narrow the tech, the tech gap? Thank you for having me. It's an honor to be here. Sure, let's talk about Next Play. Next Play is a warmer way to connect Black and Latinx professionals with their dream tech career. We do it in two ways. We host a networking festival called Next Play Live in different markets in the U.S. globally. And we have a recruitment firm that focuses on connecting Black and Latinx software engineers with their dream jobs in tech. That sounds pretty dope, man. I mean, getting people together is important whenever you can. Conferences, uh, meetings, summits, etc. But why is it so particularly important to get black and brown people who are in tech together? It's important to get black and brown people who are in tech together because we're ultimately talking about creating generational wealth here, right? Tech is the wealthiest industry the planet has ever seen. As someone who's been in this space for over 10 years as a recruiter, I've seen a lot of people become millionaires because they receive equity, they receive stocks, you get a piece of the pie for the company that you work for. As you mentioned earlier, the challenge is only 8% of us are in the tech industry. We're highly underrepresented. So in order to create generational wealth, your network is important, right? It's extremely important to develop a strong network, um, just like our peers, our white and Asian counterparts. And when you have that network, we're now able to create generational wealth, just like other ethnic groups out there. So it's important to bring people in the way that we do to build community, build those networks, and we create an environment where people could be the authentic self, they could feel a sense of belonging they've never felt before. We do that by connecting them with major brands through live cultural experiences. And once you have that space where everyone feels comfortable and they're building relationships, you close that network gap and magic happens. People end up finding their dream jobs, people find co-founders, people find mentors, you know, magic happens. Look, whenever black people get together, I think the magic happens. How uh, is tech uniquely sort of situated to make these dreams come true, to facilitate the development of black wealth, as opposed to another field? Yeah, so tech is uniquely positioned to do that because unlike other fields where you get a salary, you might have an annual bonus, the biggest difference between the tech industry and uh, other industries is tech companies will typically pay in the form of equity. So you receive stocks. You're essentially an owner of the company that you work for. So your salary might be similar to other industries, maybe a little bit more, but if you stake it out, you stay there for a few years, three years, four years, your equity, your stocks could grow and you could eventually become a millionaire. Um, by working a nine to five. You don't have to create a business. You don't have to do anything that's extremely demanding. Tech is uniquely positioned to create millionaires in a shorter period of time. And it's important for our community to be in this community. So we're passionate about making sure that we're not being left behind, which is what's currently happening. You feel passionate about this. This doesn't just seem like a, like a job. You know, lots of people have jobs. This feels like a calling for you, a mission even. But why? Why is this so important to you? It's important to me because, you know, I can speak for myself. Tech has changed my life. You know, I moved to the U.S. as an immigrant and my parents were trying to figure it out. I knew no one in this industry. Um, I was fortunate enough to have the right mentorship and I was able to secure a job in tech and it changed my life. And I was able to open doors for a lot of my friends and I saw how it changed their lives. And lastly, I have a six month old daughter and I envision a more equitable future where she has equal access to creating generational wealth as well. So I'm passionate about it for those reasons. I want to make sure that, you know, my child has equal opportunities. And I'm also passionate about making sure that our community, um, that we're opening doors for our community and that we're able to close that wealth gap. There's a 10x difference in uh, the annual, um, there's a 10x difference in the net worth of the average white family 
versus the average black family. That's a pretty big gap. Ooh. And I'm that is a passionate. huge, yeah. huge gap. And, and, and that huge gap is exactly why, you know, it's important for you all to get together to help us think about this. And we all have to think about this. But, you know, the important work that you all are going to do is going to help close that gap. And it's not just people networking and being smart, although they will be brilliant and black there. But they will also be having yeah. fun. There'll be performances. There'll be demonstrations. There'll be all kinds of stuff to make sure that you have a good time as you grow professionally and socially. Leslie, I want to thank you for joining me again. He is the founder and CEO of Next Play.